Eight bodies have been recovered from Badgam. 17 people of three families, remember, were missing as houses had collapsed in the Badgam district in central Kashmir. Now, police along with the army are busy at the moment in the rescue operations. They are trying to find the rest of the nine people uh, if they are alive from the debris. Shuja ul is now joining us with more details. Shuja, tragic news coming in there. Give us an update on the relief and rescue operations going on at the moment. But well, that's right, uh, Maha, a tragic uh, piece of news there. But I would like to clarify a little. Uh, officially, uh, so far, four bodies have been recovered, but uh, uh, sources suggest that uh, uh, the chances of the survival for uh, the rest of the people are very, very bleak. Uh, uh, it has been more than uh, more than seven hours that this incident happened. It, uh, All right, Shuja, I'll have to interrupt you there the for a bit. Let's cut across live now to the Chief Minister speaking at the moment. An unfortunate event which has occurred is in Ladan area of Padagam district where 10 people have been trapped under the house debris. We hope and pray that all of them survive that as of now we are not in a position to confirm either way. The police and administration has already reached a spot and we will try our best that all of them survive. There has been an unfortunate death in Udampur and there have been some flash floods in Jammu as well. We are working and uh, watching the situation. I have authorized the release of an amount of rupees 225 crore in favor of Divisional Kashmir Kashmir and rupees 10 crore for Divisional Commissioner of Jammu and an SDRF for the student relief. I am thankful to Honorable Home Minister of India. He had a telephonic conversation with me and they have sent a disaster management team. They have reached here, they had a meeting with Chief Sakti and they are also helping in this situation. Thank you very much. All right, Shuja ul Haq is still with us. Uh, Shuja, if you just heard the Chief Minister there speaking in the Assembly, he is not, of course, confirming any of the deaths in that tragedy. However, you were telling us uh, that four bodies have been recovered. Well, that's right. Uh, officially, four bodies have been recovered. That has been confirmed. Uh, and I was, as I was pointing out, uh, sources suggest that uh, uh, the chances of uh, survival for the, uh, for the others are also... Uh, but, but uh, you know, that having been said, what uh, uh, one, one wants to point out here is that there was uh, advisories and warnings given out to people who are live in uh, those areas which are prone to landslides, uh, uh, that they should move to safer locations. Uh, similar advisories and warnings have been given out uh, for those uh, who, who are living in low-lying areas. Uh, the river Jhelum. Uh, this, this is something that uh, we would also want to repeat and reiterate that uh, uh, people should not wait, they should move towards the city. There are shelters that the government says have been established for uh, these people in adjoining areas. So nothing needs to be taken to chance and okay. safety needs to be. All right, Shuja, they're reporting from Srinagar. Many thanks, Shuja, for joining us with those details. We do apologize for the poor audio over there.